colleagues from the U.S. Embassy in Accra, the U.S. Embassy here in Lomé, notre cher partenaire des forces armées togolaises, soyez la bienvenue, dear friends, and most importantly, Marines, especially the Marines of the Embassy Lomé Marine Security Detachment, Gunnery Sergeant Adam, Adam Tibisar, Sergeant Domingo Trevino, Sergeant Wyatt Jeffs, Sergeant Adrian Santos, who even at this very hour is guarding the embassy and not here with us. Corporal Raymond Negrete, Lance Corporal Jason Barrera, Lance Corporal Joshua Hegarty, and Lance Corporal Guadalupe Salinas. Welcome. Tonight, we come together to celebrate the 247th anniversary of the United States Marine Corps. Marine detachments have been an integral part of U.S. diplomatic missions around the world since 1948, and Marine security guards currently protect over 190 U.S. embassies and consulates. Marines not only protect embassy personnel, but also prevent the compromise of national security information and equipment. As I was reflecting on what I wanted to share this evening, I spent some time reading about the Marine Corps, and I discovered the Marine Corps' statement of purpose. It reads, the Marine Corps mission reflects every Marine's purpose. In essence, our nation is that purpose. In our world, in ourselves and in our way, there are conflicts, challenges, and obstacles that must be fought confidently and defeated convincingly for our nation to prevail. These looming battles come in many forms and occur on many fronts, but each comes down to a critical choice, to demand victory or accept defeat, to pull together or fall apart. To give in or cave in, it is a decision each Marine conveys to our nation with each battle won. Our seven Marines, led by Gunnery Sergeant Tibisar, posted to the U.S. Embassy in Lomé, are the living embodiment of that purpose. The Embassy Lomé Marine Security Guard Detachment supports the United States as we build an ever stronger partnership between the United States and the Republic of Togo. Our Marines aid in the promotion of democracy and peace for Togo, and by extension, for all of Africa. In addition to their daily service to keep our embassy operational and our bilateral relationship strong, we cannot forget their many other contributions, like the annual Toys for Tots drive that brightens the lives of so many Togolese children each holiday season. As President Biden says of the United States, we lead not merely by the example of our power, but by the power of our example. Marines, and in particular our detachment at Embassy Lomé, embody the very best of the values we as a nation wish to share with the people of Togo. Service, honor, diversity, dedication, and the promotion and protection of democracy. Their example is inspiring not only to the embassy community they serve, but to the people of Togo. Tonight, we particularly honor these eight outstanding members of our Marine Security Detachment who keep us safe night and day, standing watch 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. In addition, we are fortunate to have with us Corporal Mohamed Digareku, who's a first-generation Togolese-American who's joined the Marine Corps. He is stationed in Yuma, Arizona, 
and will begin Marine Security Guard School in Quantico, Virginia in January. Congratulations, Corporal, on your decision to join the ranks of these fantastic Marines at U.S. Missions Abroad. all of the Marines with us tonight, and especially to our own Embassy Lomay Marine Security Guard Detachment, thank you. Thank you for your service. Thank you for protecting us. And most importantly, thank you for being such an integral part of our Embassy family. Happy birthday, and Semper Fidelis. Oh, 